Hello there guys, Billaway10k here, bringing you episode 3 of Make a Good 48 Hour Mega Man Level. Welcome back! If you're enjoying this series so far, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe consider checking out my coffee link to help support the channel, every little helps. We are here in tier 1 on the lifeboats. Can I die? Okay, thanks, B. Oh, B, a poor you. It's time for our first simulation. 107th place, Supermax 64, Space Pipes, score 3, 37, 33, 16, 42, but it was 97 minutes late. That says a lot, like it sounds like it could be a good, a good level, but it was just too late. And I'm guessing all of this is like the stuff that we can expect to see because it's like based on three different enemy types and two different like level gimmicks. So let's do it. Oh my god. Well, hi Mega Man. Wee. All right. Anti grav maybe? I'm not entirely certain what Yeah, I'm not entirely certain what we're dealing with here. That's that's an invisible block, a visible wall. Okay, cool. Uh, I need rush coil. Where's rush? Wait. Oh, B is the only. Shoot. Everything else is disabled. What is it going to be like? We have to find specific pipes in order to progress. Oh, I have to use my gun to propel myself. That's weird. I'm not sure if I like this. <laughs> okay, so going on that was the was the point. Okay. It's an interesting gimmick. Don't get me wrong. Like, to an extent, it is unique. And there are certainly elements about it. I think it just, it could have been introduced better. It's certainly making spike falls very interesting. Okay, uh, I need to be able to pause so I can use an E-Tank, my god. I didn't think I'd be using an E-Tank this soon. Uh, slide? Yes. Okay. As said, the, the concept is interesting. It's just a bit weird. Hello, I originally wanted to make a different level, but because of Game Maker and all this engine, I had to scrap it. I made a different semi-joke level in a few hours instead. Also, I submitted this late on purpose, I hope I lose. By the way, Quint is the boss, and check out the pause menu for a cool effect. Ah, the... The thing is still moving, okay, cool. Alright, hi Quint. Is he gonna have his pogo stick? Yep. The Sakugane. Oh my god, Quint, please. I wonder what he's gonna be weak to in this, uh... I wonder what he's gonna be weak to in this, uh... version of the, uh... Oh, hello. Ah, damn it. Okay, uh, I'm panicking. Oh, I can't use anything because... Right, because I... D hmm.
I wasn't actually doing damage to him, I think. I think I can't damage him if I hit the Sakagane, which is a little bit annoying. For, the, for those of you that don't know, the Sakagane is basically his pogo stick. I straight up don't think I've done any damage to him. This is very weird. You know what? I'm gonna... Wrong button. Wrong button. I'm gonna use an energy bait thing, and then I'm gonna use my weapon energy, and I'm gonna... Why did that not... Yeah. I want that to refill beat. Right, he doesn't attack bosses. Why did I do that? I've never had this problem with 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 Quint's uh, hitboxes before. I, I this is this is I'm 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 not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this boss fight at all. Oh, Quint, honey. All right, let's just learn the move. Let's just learn the move set. I mean, it feels like it's somewhat standard Quint, like. But it's also like, I'm not doing any damage. Like, I don't even know why I was- like, I don't know when I'm doing damage and when I'm not doing damage. I am actually quite confused. I'm assuming it's like I have to hit him in the back. That's my assumption here. I I do not know what to do for this fight. I'm not skilled enough. I don't understand the concept. I'm gonna keep throwing myself at it because that's just kind of what I do, but... I don't even, like, know when I'm doing damage to him. It feels so unresponsive. Yeah, it's... Alright, I, I get when I'm doing damage to him now, it is hitting him on the back, but that is incredibly difficult, because that's that's just... That's not how Quint is meant to be fought. Quint is meant to have a full hitbox. He's always just had a normal hitbox. This is so cruel. And it doesn't help that, like, I'm finding it very hard to keep track of all of his attacks when, uh... Oh no, you know what, maybe, maybe, maybe I do just have to do a lot of damage to him and eventually he just starts taking damage, I don't know. Now I'm confused, I'm just, I am just incredibly confused by Quint right now. Like, ridiculously confused. I can't tell if it's just he has a bigger health bar. Oh no, he just has a bigger health bar, I couldn't see it. Well, now I'm just embarrassed. Because it was like a slightly darker green on top of the lime green that they were using. Well, now I just feel like an idiot. God, 
God, and once you get out of the, the rhythm, you just... You just panic and fall. Okay, well, I, I'm embarrassed. I didn't even know- I didn't even notice. Like, look at the level- look at the health bar. I'll probably- I'll, I'll do a fucking smash zoom in. There we go. Oh my god, Quint, my man. <laughs> Jesus. He uh he had me on the ropes there, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's have a look at the uh at the scores. Oh, I like this. So, uh Palmer John, uh he gave it function nine out of ten, creativity eight out of fifteen, aesthetics four out of fifteen, fun eight out of twenty-five, and design eight out of thirty-five for a total of thirty-seven out of one hundred. Okay, the first time I played this level, it was a train wreck. Once I knew what the gimmick was, it was actually pretty fun, but figuring out what was going on was really bad. Uh, the actual challenges that you present, other than the boss, were pretty good. The level is too short, but what you have is not bad at all, other than gimmick conveyance. Like, the spot with the Joe where you had to time when to jump was pretty rad. The Quint fight is dumb, but not too bad. Okay, Space Pipes for PK Ouija. You wanted a joke review? Too bad, serious time. The concept in itself is flawed with the weird gravity physics, but weirdly enough, I can see that sort of gravity working when put in the right environment. This clearly wasn't that, but glimpses of neat ideas were seen with having to jump and boost yourself with the shots to get over gaps. The Quint fight was rough because I was too afraid to jump, so I guess that one is on me. Fine, here's a meme. Oh, a shiny penny. So you probably did, great, great. You probably did get lost. Frames. It's certainly novel, but that's kind of where it ends. You control yourself in a really weird way, and there's an obnoxious quint fight at the end, and that's just that. There's not much else to say. If it's a joke level, it doesn't even really manage to hit a level of absurdity. So let's just check these guys. Um, PKWG gave it function 10 out of 10, creativity 6 out of 15, aesthetic 6 out of 15, design 6 out of 35, and fun 5 out of 25 for a total of 33. Uh, 0 for design, 0 for fun, 8 for creativity, 3 for aesthetics, and 5 for function, fair enough. And then 11, 9, 9, 5, and 8 for a total of 42. Honestly, I would not have given this a 10 out of 10 function, I'm not gonna lie. That didn't feel all that functional, there were weird, like, issues with, uh, when I was jumping on the pipes at the start of the level, it was like there were weird hitboxes that were just blocking me from being able to actually, like, move left or right. And the gimmick conveyance was just awful. I think the gimmick conveyance needed to be worked on. Uh, I'm glad that I'm through that. Thank God. I haven't got time for one more, maybe. 106th place. Ah! Cutting edge technology. Score, 14.25. 18, 9, 10, 20. Negative 4 function penalty. Oh, what was this one's again? Score 3. Right, so it had higher scores, it was just super late, that's why it's at the bottom, okay. Whereas this one has had lower scores, which means I'm slightly more scared of this one than I should be of that one. Let's go! Alright. No music. Okay, okay. Alright, cool, we've got cutters. And we have moles, okay. <laughs> I don't like it has no music. I, 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 I wish it had music. I would like to know what the, what the plan was there for music here. Then again, if you got like a randomly a chosen set of like enemies and stuff and you got given these, honestly, I get making a bit of a bad level. Wee. Okay. Oh god. I mean, it's- it's- it's a gimmick. Checkpoint reached, okay. Uh, let's go left. Alright. Okay, let's go right then. 
what was the point of that? Okay, the timings on all of these are all very different, which makes it feel a little weird. Oh boy. No! No cutters! It, it just doesn't feel right without the... Without the sound. It, it just, there's something just feels very wrong here. Okay, can't go uh, up that one, so I guess we're just going to go down here. Almost. Almost there. Almost made it. Oh, and we're back here. Brilliant. Okay, well. This is... This is... This... Okay. This is... You know what? Yeah, I get it. I get the title of this. Ah! I, I relate heavily. Oh boy. I wonder if I should just use Rush Jet and just skip that bit. Do I have access to my weapons? Yes, okay. Yeah, I might just get my Rush Jet out and get that ready for... for that one room of the, the Canapellas. I think that's what they're called. This one. Well, it doesn't matter. I died anyway. Fudge me. How did I do that room first try? Because that's... It's an interesting little setup. It's just... This level hurts me. Because it's so uninteresting to play through. And if you get hit by even one of their little shots, you're done. Come on. I hate that there's no music, because that means I can't really let any dead air happen. Wait, should I just add music myself? It wouldn't- it wouldn't sound out of place. What the hell is this level? What is this level? This level? Yeah, this should have been last. The last- actually, no, what? No, the last level was awful. You know what? This, at least, I can see what the- the creator was going for. And I think with a bit of music? You could probably put this up a little bit. There we go. That's the strategy. Okay, gotcha. And then back here again. Okay, checkpoint. Nice. Are we going to get a boss? Nope, we're going to get more of those. And they're facing the wrong way. Lamau. I'm, I'm pretty sure they weren't meant to be facing that way, but they are. So. Alright, simple jump puzzles. Okay, we're going back here. This stage originally did not have an energy element at the end. This energy element was added by the dev team. Well, there we go. Yeah, that was a weird one. That one functionally... Like... The gimmick was there. The gameplay was not. Cutting edge technology. Parmesan. Uh, penalty, negative 4. Function, 4 out of 10. Creativity, 2 out of 15. Design, 8 out of 35. Fun, 2 out of 25. And aesthetics, 2 out of 15. For a total of 18. Pro tip, don't use blank backgrounds. It generally doesn't go over well. The whole level is just blank and empty, and the lack of music makes it feel more empty. The parts where you're on the sheepman blocks and you're dodging things as you fall were all right. Almost too good for the rest of the level. The level has a difficulty curve and an introduction to the gimmicks. It feels more like a 12-hour level, or it just wasn't finished. There really isn't much to talk about because there's so much nothing. Like, there seem to be split paths that just don't work. It just doesn't make a great level experience overall. Alright, PK Ouija gave it 3 out of 25 for design, creativity 3 out of 15, function 2 out of 10, fun, nothing, and then aesthetics 1 out of 15 for a total of 9 points. Oh dear, where did we go wrong? Level is hard to look at, sheet blocks are baffling and used weirdly, there's a screen transition that leads into the void, and you forgot a stop scroll object at the end. What happened? M. Jacques. Uh, with a design 2 out of 20, uh, 35, creativity got a 1, function got a 5, fun got nothing, and aesthetics got 2 for a total of 10 points. 
Every tile in this level looks like a Lego, which is appropriate because this level was about as fun as repeatedly stepping on the contents of a Lego set. I guess some of the individual rooms are good, there's that one room with the Picatos that's pretty okay, but then just a few screens ahead of it is a screen where the Picatos are pointed backwards. Okay, they're called Picatos, alright. I had their name wrong. Uh, so I think those are happy accidents are just that, accidents. Actually, I think the thing that really truly aggravates me about this level is that the Sheepman blocks have clearly been altered so they go off at different speeds, which is as befuddling as it is infuriating. Why? Why make the timing of the perilous disappearing platforms more random? And while we're here, what is up with that choose your own adventure at the midpoint, where taking you to the left path just kills you? You're supposed to put the meme reward for going left at the start of the stage, not the checkpoint. I imagine that was maybe they were considering doing an alternate path and they just didn't end up going through with it. Uh, and Freems has given it 5 for design, 5 for creativity, 5 for function, 3 for fun, and 2 for aesthetics for a total of 20 points, which is honestly more generous than it's worth. I feel like I shouldn't say anything yet and keep up the silence. <sighs> Sometimes when I play a hard level, a level, sorry, it's very hard for me to tell if I'm supposed to say what I think went wrong because I don't know if it's sincere or a joke, or if the other judges are about to say the same thing I'm about to, so we'll keep it quick. It physically doesn't look good, the sheet blocks don't really work the way they usually do with the colours mix and matching, nor are their timings consistent across the level, making guessing when to go at times a little trial and errory. There are multiple points where you can just walk off into an endless void and die, and most if not all the enemies are just there to fill a quota. I imagine this is either a case of running out of time, or one's first foray into Game Maker, in which case it's certainly practice makes perfect. I like dodging cut enemies while waiting for the sheet blocks though, that was cute. Alright. Personally, for me, I enjoyed elements of that, in the sense that I think the, uh, I agreed with the, I agreed with the one judge who said that the dropping sheep blocks through, like, the spike falls was really good, I thought that was interesting. Uh, the checkpoint was a little far back for one of those, though. I kind of prefer, if you have a spike drop in your level, that you just have the checkpoint there, because nobody likes to go through a level again only to die at a spike drop, it's one of the worst feelings in the world. I think the Picatos were interesting. I didn't necessarily like that room in the same way the other judges did because I just didn't understand the timing, and then the second room where they were facing the wrong way was just a fail, a complete fail. Uh, I just think that this was a case of someone who wanted to make a level, kind of got into making the level, and then realized halfway through, you know what, I'm not actually that interested in this, but I kind of committed, so I guess I'll submit something. Like, the fact there's no music, that is disappointing. You should always be able to add music of some kind to your level. So, that's my personal thoughts. But anyway, that will be the end of episode 3 of Make a Good 48 Hour Mega Man level. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. In the next episode, we'll take on level 105, and maybe level 104. Depends. I don't know how long these levels will take me. But I hope you guys are enjoying. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my coffee link if you haven't already. Leave a coffee if you're enjoying this series and you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.